Hi there YouTube, just uh, trying out a new format of video here, uh, something a little bit more off the cuff, uh, less scripting, hopefully less editing involved, um, try and do as much as I can in one take, just, just to help me speed up the processes a bit since I'm a bit too time poor to uh, make the kind of slightly more complex videos I've tried to make in the past. So just, yeah, a quick one here about this mouse, as you can see, that I've uh, bought online. Um, it's the kind of thing I'm always sort of looking for uh, new tech that looks like old tech, I suppose. Um, I just find a lot of new products all have a very similar look, um, and it's a look that I'm not a fan of. Um, so if whenever something interesting and unusual and unique like this comes up, particularly retro themed, it, it does pique my interest. Uh, now the thing about this mouse, uh, it's, it is actually a few years old. It's not in production more. It's probably hasn't, probably hasn't been in production for four or five years, but there's still a lot of this a lot of them sort of hanging around in 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 warehouses and and whatnot. They they can be found on eBay, which is where I found mine for a very very bargain price. I paid about fourteen dollars for it. Um, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, and quite frankly, <laughs> my expectations were not even met. Um. It, it, it is sort of billed as more of a novelty item than, you know, you'll get to like a Unicomp keyboard or something. It's not like a Unicomp keyboard where, it's a, where it tries to be a high quality reproduction of something old. No, this is just, it's, it's a toy. Even though it does say on this package, important, this product is not a toy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty flimsy. Um, the first thing I noticed, and to be honest, this this might have happened in shipping. As you can see, the, the box is pretty banged up. Uh, the left mouse button didn't work. I had to open the thing up. Uh, I'm not going to do that again for the demonstration, but I had to open it up to loosen up that mouse button. I'm, I'm glad it actually loosened up and it wasn't broken. But the, the whole thing, it's, it's very light and flimsy, unfortunately. Uh, there's one sort of very very thin cheaply made PCB in the middle there that's almost rattling around there's nothing really holding it on it's not screwed in or anything um it's it's basically just the two halves of of, of the shell pushing down on that's holding the PCB in so yeah quite disappointed I would love to see more of this kind of stuff all sorts of peripherals I'd love it if 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 there were manufacturers in manufacturers interested in making slightly more high quality kind of uh, retro looking or, or, or um, recreations of retro tech. Unfortunately, this is the best thing I've come up with. It doesn't even look as good in real life as it does in pictures. Like the pictures of it look quite nice. It, it, it's got that sort of nice two-tone gray, dark gray on light gray look of vintage tech, but uh, you can probably even tell in the videos, it's got that slightly, unfinished uh, texture on it. It looks like it's just come straight off the machine, the, the cut straight out of the cast with nothing else done to it. Um, I was hoping for some kind of like uh, matte texture, but no, no, this is all we've got. Uh, so yeah, slightly disappointed. Um, and $14, as cheap as it was, is probably a little bit more than I would have liked to pay, honestly. Um, and as for the mouse mat, it's quite a joke as well. Uh, very, it feels more like packaging material, Material really. It's so light and flimsy. Um, also got a bit damaged in the process. And really, who wants this? I'm not even sure what this, this keyboard here is. It looks like it's trying to be some kind of a micro a la uh, a Commodore 64 or a, possibly a BBC given the red function keys, but the actual layout doesn't really quite look like the layout of any micro I've seen before. So this is a piece of crap. I never, I knew it was coming with it. Um, that's just the way it came and I didn't was never really planning on using this anyway. The mouse itself I might still use. Um, 
just for the novelty, but yeah, a little bit disappointed. But uh, just to give you a, a bit more of a, a demonstration of the cheap quality of this thing, as you see, it is a USB. Um, I will give it this, although it's an optical. Um, I guess nobody would be bothered making actual uh, mechanical mice these days, but I will give it this. It does actually work. Um, that being said, uh, after I opened it up and, and, and freed that left mouse button, um, because the PCB is just basically loose in there, um, it was kind of hard to jiggle it around to get it in the right position. And, um, at first, yeah, it just wouldn't work. The, uh, little, the little plastic lens that goes over the light, that's just loose in there. That was hard to fit into the right place. It took a little while to actually put it back together and have everything sitting in the right place so that it'd actually work. But, um, work it does if you, if you can believe that. Um, but to sh and both the left and the left mouse button works, right mouse button works. Yeah, I've been looking up a lot of DOS commands, so sue me. Um, even the uh, scroll wheel works. Um, I've got some crummy mice that have stupid scroll wheels where they, where they go up when they should go down and vice versa and, and don't really know what they're doing. But so far, I haven't had that, any problems with that. So I suppose that's a good thing. Um, but... Yeah, the one sort of main thing I'd like to point out as far as the build quality on this machine is concerned, this basically says it all. When it's turned on, let's see if I can do this. The red light of the sensor is actually showing through the case. <laughs> uh, it's a bit easier to see when it's dark, but currently it is not. Oh, there we go. We can see it quite nicely there. That's how, that's how cheap it is. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit unfortunate that this sort of terrible quality, uh, cheap light, it's probably going to break in a couple of weeks thing is probably the best, uh, representation of a brand new in inverted commas, uh, mouse that, that, that looks like a vintage mouse. So, yeah, that's all I've really got for today. Just thought I'd point this thing out. Um, and thank you for watching.